Google Maps is, uh, is now commonly accessed by voice um, requests. In fact, uh, when uh, Gene Gabbard, my, my good friend who's here, we go back many years at MCI, uh, was coming here, we used uh, my little Google Maps program and I spoke the address that we were going to and it's quite shocking how well the system works. One thing that helps it is that the vocabulary that it's expecting is the names of streets and towns and cities and so on, countries. And that narrows to some extent the recognition problem because you're drawing from a vocabulary of a certain type. And that helps uh, improve the quality of the, uh, of the recognition. Uh, we also are able to tie things together. You might want to experiment with this. Uh, if you were to say something like, uh, uh, where is the um, Museum of Modern Art in New York City? Uh, and it answers with an address or something like that. Uh, and if you then said, how far away is it? You haven't specifically mentioned anything. The reference to it is the museum. It remembers things like that. So we're starting to tie conversation together. And one of the big objectives at Google has been to achieve a kind of interactive interface, for example, with Google Search, where you're not simply asking for search terms or just asserting a, a sentence or a statement or a question, but rather that there is an interactive engagement. And the interaction is intended to help you figure out whether the search engine understands what you're looking for.